Hello, I'm Miguel Angel Lopez here at Mohair Inc. and this is my lovely model, Cindy. Today we're going to be talking about one of our awesome keratin systems, which is hair repair. Hair repair lasts up to six months if and when the client maintains it while at home. This guarantees the client to have shiny, straighter, and defrizzed look as well. So we're going to be seeing throughout this whole video presentation how I apply it, how it works, and the end result as well. Again, it lasts up to six months. And one of the key ingredients is silk amino acids. And what this does, it keeps the hair moisturized and gives it elasticity. So stick around and watch the rest of the results. As you can see, she has curly hair, wiry, a lot of hair. Her hair is natural, it's virgin hair. And what we're gonna do with our hair repair system is not only give her shine, but a lot of smooth and straighter hair. Now that we finish our consultation with Cindy, we're ready to clarify. Our mohair clarifying shampoo is sulfate free, and you can shampoo up to three times if need be to eliminate any metallic, any mineral buildup in her hair as far as chlorines and stuff. So we want to make sure that that hair is clean. Also make sure that you do not do it vigorously because when you do it vigorously, you don't want to work up the scalp. So we're ready to do this step and shampoo her clean. So now we brought Cindy over to the shampoo area. As you can see, we're using our mohair clarifying shampoo. Again, it's sulfate free. We want to really work it in the hair and it really applies smoothly. Want to make sure, again, this model has a lot of hair, so I'm going to reapply. Two or three pumps max is fine. There you can see the consistency. Get this video. Make sure you get it all over the hair, especially mid shafts and ends. You don't want to rough up the hair, like we said. You don't want to do it vigorously, however, you want to be gentle, but at the same time, make sure you go through all the hair fiber. So now that we've finished clarifying Cindy's hair, allow me to share with you the tools we'll be using for this service. So these are our tools we'll be using. Very important to point out, you see that all our tools are basically what we're using are gonna be non-metallic, meaning our bowl and our clips. So starting with that, we're gonna have the bowl, our gloves, our clips, round brush, our carbon combs. They need to be carbon. Obviously, we don't want them to melt. Our applicator brush, our blow dryer, and our iron. And of course, the hair repair system, which we'll be applying in a bit. Using my carbon comb, I'm gonna part from front all the way to the back and from ear to ear. We want four sections and they need to be clean sections so that way it's easier to apply. So now I'm going to be ready to blow dry Cindy's hair and I'm going to be using my blow dryer down position and I'm going to basically be, if you will, raking the hair to get it 100% dry and then we'll section in four and start with the product. Now that we have Cindy's hair 100% dry and sectioned, we're going to go ahead and start with our hair repair. Our hair repair needs to be shaken at least 10 seconds to really move all the ingredients and be able to get all of them out precisely. And then we're going to go ahead and measure. I'm going to start with one ounce to begin with. If I need more, which we know we will, it's okay to add after. So we want exactly one ounce. We already shaked our product, our hair repair. We only want one ounce, so therefore if you need more, you can go ahead and apply more if need be. These weight scales are very, very accurate, so you need to make sure you get the exact reading. You don't want to really go over, and if you do, just be kind of like a little bit, notice that exactly you want to get the right measurement. So that's your one ounce. You go as close as you can to the scalp, and you're penetrating right through the fibers. You're using a little bit of tension on the hair fiber for more control, and again, the smallest part of the tooth, uh, your comb, is what we're using you are seeing basically no product on the comb. So now we've finished applying the back section. You can tell it's evenly distributed. Now we're gonna go in the front area. As we said earlier, this Cindy, our client, parts it either way, so that's why we did it down the middle exactly. So now we're gonna start again from the bottom up to the center using fine parting since Cindy has a lot of hair and her texture is mega. Okay, we're ready to finish this part of Cindy's side. Since we had mentioned already earlier, she parts it either way, that's why we went down the middle. However, if you have those clients that go right to left or left to right, you might want to do it the opposite way, so therefore they would have more volume when they do it right to left. Let's say that's her way, 
So she did it right to left, I would apply this left to right. Now we're ready to blow dry. We're gonna use about half inch partings. We already sectioned the hair. Make sure you have your mohair rom brush. We have four different sizes and a paddle. And we're gonna go ahead and start blow drying. So now I have my last two sections that need to be uh, dried out. So I will be doing it at a 90 with my ROM brush, hitting with the dryer underneath it for major volume. And once I go through the mid shaft all the way to the ends, I can go down at a 45 since I already created that volume at the base. Again, 90, dryer underneath. And then once you're coming out, halfway through the ends, we'll be doing at a 45. So now that we've finished blow drying 100% dry, we are now ready for the last step, which is the flat ironing. The flat ironing, we recommend the temperature be at 420 to 450 Fahrenheit, depending on the client's hair texture. With my client, I'm gonna start at 430. I'm gonna start in the back area, working from the base all the way to the top, and continue on the other side till we get to the front area as well, which you'll be seeing in just a bit. With mohair, we also have our own flat irons, the inch and the inch and a half. Again, my temperature's at 430. I'm gonna start in the nape area, working on the way up. I'm gonna be bumping it, and I'm gonna be showing you the technique as we speak in a bit. We're ready to use the iron, starting from the base. We're gonna bump it twice. What I mean by bumping is when you do the, this effect, you're tapping the base. It's okay to tap the base, but not to leave it on long because it is a warm iron. Notice my rhythm that I'm having. If I start slow, I end slow. We go from eight to 10 swipes all the way to the ends. You must make sure that you see every end come out from in front of you within the iron. Your carbon comb is for control. You're never touching the hair because the hair now is hot. So therefore it's just the carbon comb and the iron that is touching the hair. So as you can see, the higher up we go, the diameter, the section gets wider. So now we can do subsections sub of the section where I'm gonna do from here to here and then from here to here. Once you reach already three quarters of the head, you can go back to doing just one section. Again, this is because it's very wide in this area as we go higher. And I'm gonna repeat after this on the other side till we finish. So we'll see you in a bit right before I'm done. So now we're starting the front part, the front section. Very important to uh, realize when we come, when you're at the ear, we either have the client hold the ear back down. In her case, she doesn't really have a, a full side a burn of hair, if you will. So we're gonna again bump two to four times and you tap the scalp, mind you. And then you continue with your slow rhythm all the way to the ends. Your comb is again for controlling the hair length. Now this is my last section that I'm going to do, and again, we're going at a 90. We're bumping it up to four times, and very important that you tap the scalp. If we don't tap the scalp, what happens if she has some little fuzzies there, those fuzzies will remain fuzzy. And now we're going to go eight to ten times towards the ends. Voila, we're done. Our finished model, Miss Cindy. So let's go over the steps quickly one last time. Uh, we started with the consultation. We clarified the hair with our clarifying shampoo. Up to three times you can rinse or shampoo the hair without doing it vigorously. We towel blotted her, brought her back to our station, sectioned in four places, blew out 100% dry. From there, the third step is applying our hair repair, which again, when we finished the last step, we started blow drying, sectioned, and then started blow drying again, 100% dry. Then we went in with our iron. Remember, we used it on her at 430 Fahrenheit, and this is our end result. The client now has the option to either wait up to 72 hours, or we could style her here as well. In her case, we're gonna let her style it as she pleases when she gets home, using our mohair shampoo, our hydrating shampoo, which is sulfate-free. The ingredients that are in our hair repair, starting with silk amino acids to make the hair moisturize and a lot smoother, we also have 
plant keratin. Plant keratin works from the cortex out to strengthen the hair. Aloe vera, which is for any dry uh, dryness to the scalp, and also pomegranate fruit extract. And the pomegranate fruit extract, what that does, it defrizzes the hair. And last, we have olive oil, which actually strengthens the hair as well. Now, that's the end of our presentation. We thank you. We also invite you, any direct questions that you want to bring on to us, do so at, or DM us at Mohair Inc. You could also visit us on Instagram, Mohair Inc., or Facebook, or yours truly at Muñeco, the number four, and Y-O-U-U, Muñeco for you. Thank you again, and we are Mohair Miguel Angel, artistic team member here at Mohair Inc.